Welcome to our latest video in our GCSE revision series. This video is on the topic of isomers. By the end of this video lesson, you should understand that isomers have the same molecular formula but a different structural formula, and you should be able to name and draw structural formulae for isomers of hydrocarbons with up to five carbons and alcohols with up to four carbons. Now, just as in other videos from our revision series, we're going to focus on how to answer exam questions. So here's the first exam question we'd like to have a look at, and it comes in a number of parts, and the first part is here on this slide. So read for the question, pause the video, have a go at it, and then we'll go through how to answer this first part of the question. Now, in this first question, we have six organic compounds that are drawn here. We have compound A, which is ethane, it's an alkane. Compound B is an alcohol, it's ethanol. Compound C is butane, it's another alkane. Compound D is propanol, it's an alcohol. And compounds E and F are alkenes. E is propene and F is ethene. And the question is asking you to define the term isomer. Well, an isomer has the same molecular formula but a different structural formula, a different structure. So if you said same molecular formula, but a different structure or different structural formula, you get one mark. Now compound C is one of two isomers that have the molecular formula C4H10. And for part two, you're asked to draw in the space below the structure of the other isomer of C4H10. Now alkanes undergo chain isomerism. Now, if you look at compound C, the longest chain in compound C is four carbons long. So a chain isomer has a different length of longest chain. So if I cut the longest chain length down to three, I then have a CH3 to fit somewhere, and I can't put it on the end because then I just draw butane again, I just draw isomer C. So I put the CH3 group in the middle. So you can see I've drawn a longest chain of three carbons here, and I have a CH3 group in the middle. And if I was to name this, and this is not asked in the question, it'd be called 2-methylpropane, because the longest chain is three carbons long, and there is a methyl group, a CH3 group, on carbon two. So if you drew the isomer correctly, you get one mark here. So now look at the second part of this question, part B. It's asking you to give the letter A to F of one other compound that has an isomer and to draw the structure of its isomer. So read for the question, pause the video, have a go at it, and then we'll go for the answers. So for part B, you're asked to give the letter A to F of one of the compound that has an isomer and to draw the structure of its isomer. Now, compounds A and C and E and F are hydrocarbons, and you only get isomers with hydrocarbons if you have at least four carbons. So we've seen that C had one, but compound A and compound E and compound F don't have four carbons, they have two or three carbons, so they can't have isomers. So you're only left with compounds B and D, and there are no isomers of ethanol, because you only got two carbons in the chain. But when you've got an alcohol with three carbons in, like you have in compound D, we could move the OH group to a different position. And then we'd have a type of isomer called a positional isomer. So in compound D, the OH group is on carbon one. So I can have an isomer of this if I put the OH group on the middle carbon, carbon two. Now that would be called propan-2-ol. Compound D would be propan-1-ol. And because I've got the OH group on carbon two here, I have a compound called propan-2-ol. And that's a positional isomer. So there's two marks for this question. One for identifying that compound D has an isomer and one mark for drawing the 
isomer of compound D. So here's the last exam question we like to have a look at. So read for the question, pause the video, have a go at it, and then we'll go for the answers. Now in question two, we have a molecular formula of C5H12, and C5H12 has three isomers, and the diagram below shows one of these isomers, and isomer one here is pentane, and they're asking you to draw the other two isomers. So with chain isomers, we need to cut the length of the longest chain down. So I'm gonna cut it from five to four first, and then I need to cut it from four to three. Now, if I cut it to four carbons long, I have to fit a CH3 group somewhere on the chain, but I can't put it on the end of a four carbon chain because then I'll just draw pentane again. And if I have three carbons in my longest chain, I need to add two CH3 groups somewhere. So it has a molecular formula of C5H12. So I'm gonna draw the isomer with four carbons in the longest chain first, and then I'm gonna put in my CH3 group, and I can't put it on the end because then I'll just draw pentane again. So I'm gonna put it on the second carbon, and then I'm gonna make sure that each carbon has four bonds. So I'm putting in the hydrogens here. And once I put in the hydrogens, I will have five carbons and 12 hydrogens, just like isomer one. And if I name this compound, there's four carbons in the longest chain and the CH3 group, the methyl group is on carbon two. So this would be called two methyl butane, and it would be an isomer of pentane. Now pentane and 2-methylbutane are isomers of each other because they have the same molecular formula, C5H12, but a different structure. Now the final isomer here has three carbons in the longest chain. Now if I only have three carbons in the longest chain, for me to have a molecular formula of C5H12, I need to fit two CH3 groups onto this chain. And they can only go in the middle here, otherwise I'm just drawing 2-methylbutane or pentane again. And when I put the CH3 groups on the middle carbon, the second carbon, I have a structure which looks like this. And if I name this structure, I would have 2-methyl groups on carbon 2. So it would be called 2,2-dimethyl-propane. And it'd be called dimethyl because I have two CH3 groups, two methyl groups. So these are my three isomers here. And if you had 2-methyl-butane and 2,2-dimethyl-propane drawn properly, just like I've drawn here, you would get two marks. So that concludes this video lesson. So after watching this video, you should now understand that isomers have the same molecular formula, but a different structural formula. And you should also be able to name and draw structural formulae for isomers of hydrocarbons with up to five carbons and alcohols with up to four carbons. That concludes our video. Thank you for watching. This and other GCSE, AS and A-level chemistry videos can be found on our YouTube channel, Dr. O Chemistry.